नमस्कार वेलकम टू एक संवाद एट अरुणिम अंकुर ऑन द ओकेजन ऑफ टीचर्स डे फिफ्थ सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू वी आर डिलाइटेड एंड प्रिविलेज टू हैव अ कॉन्वर्सेशन विद मिसेस निशा सराफ क्रिएटिंग टूमोरोज लीडर्स शी इज ग्रुप डायरेक्टर ऑफ सी डी एस ग्रुप ऑफ स्कूल इन नागपुर Thank you so much, ma'am, for joining us. It's such an honor and privilege to have you here. A word about Aruni Mankuran. This is an initiative for positive social change through self-development. The goal is greater well-being and happiness for all. At Aruni Mankuran, we believe that each person is unique and special in some way. That each person can make a difference. That each person can create an impact, and that's what keeps us inspired and it keeps us going. A word about our guest, the founder member of four educational institutions. She has been awarded with Bharat Shiksha Ratna 2013-2014, ex-president of the National Council of Women in India. She was awarded the Best Chairperson Award by the Rotary Club of Nagpur. She is featured in the fourth volume of the Asian American Who's Who, and um, the most amazing reason why she is here with us today is that. she started a school with a vision of making every child a winner so today the cds and tender steps group of schools and preschools has grown manifold the school's mission is to create uh, to develop leaders one child at a time and they're not stopping there there is a vision uh, there is so much innovation happening in the school so world of education is something more that they have started and we talk to her about this also um very warm welcome to you ma'am thank you so much uh, for joining us uh, we we'd love to hear from you how your journey began as an educator and what is the passion that drives you to keep going so let's start from the beginning what made you decide that okay i'll start a school uh i was always interested in learning and teaching and uh, once my children were grown up i thought ki it's a good time to develop myself i've done enough for my children for the family so now it's time to develop myself and that's how i thought of starting a small kindergarten in a garage in the house and uh, see i don't want to boast about myself but i was born with a silver spoon and uh, always it has been like that ki i have been lucky that i have been able to do things that i wanted to do but it was with the cooperation of the family members and uh, lots of things and once i also believe ki if you want to do something the door always opens so you have to just take the opportunities that come and move on and mustn't let hurdles stop you there are innumerable hurdles and along the journey they don't seem to be like hurdles they are just challenges which you don't even realize that you face them until you are past a lot of hurdles and your institution has grown and then you feel ki oh it has grown so much and then you sit back and see everything that has happened in the beginning there is no time to assess anything you just keep on going 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 and doing your best and i feel the journey is a very pleasurable journey full of challenges and uh, always if you keep a positive attitude hmm. the hurdles just get dissolved on their own and you keep on going wow that's beautiful so where did the seed come from like was there a particular day on which you started the institution and what was the preparation you did for it uh, talk to us about day 1 let's say uh after my 25th anniversary i thought ki i must do something now for myself and then we discussed it in the family the garage the uh, house garage was lying vacant so 
I just thought, ki why not use the garage since it's lying vacant, and our family trust also was dormant. So things just happen. We revived the family uh, trust, started this activity, as the family also wanted to do some activities in the family trust, and education was a good thing in those days for ladies. Like they didn't need to go out too much, and everything could be done from home. and uh, i started with just five children hmm. but even then i thought the quality matters a lot and i saw to it that my kindergarten was the best kindergarten in nagpur hmm. Hmm. and uh, before that i had been uh, doing as you said i was um, president of national women's council in india hmm. nagpur and uh, they had three Uh, balwadis which they were running so i was in charge of those balwadis and uh, i really enjoyed doing it it was for underprivileged children mm-hmm. and so then i started uh, the bharti vidya bhavan school in uh, civil lines mm-hmm. which that was the first private cbse school of nagpur oh wow. before that there was only uh, there were only kendriya vidyalayas for cbse schools mm-hmm. and uh, so even that time like i think naturally i have been starting new things mm-hmm. <laughs> so wow it was a cbse school that time mm-hmm. then uh, after that i thought ki let me start my own school after bhavan so i left the organization mm-hmm. and then i thought of starting my own school and icsc schools were popular all over india but in nagpur they didn't have a good icsc school there were other icsc schools so i chose to start a good icsc school in nagpur and that time also i thought ki the students that come out of my school should be able to stand anywhere in the world and uh, because india has a lot of talent yes. and our and our uh, uh, students are no less in intelligence than anywhere else in the world True. you just have to groom them and make them ready to stand up and do what they want and uh, i also have this firm belief that every child is a winner it's not necessary that uh, he just is good at academics hmm. he should follow his passion so in my school i encouraged children and uh, the role of the teacher was to find out the talent of the child and then to encourage that talent see the school was a platform where the child could like, could express his talents wow and uh, so everything just happened one by one hmm. and now i can sit back and uh, just enjoy <laughs> the <laughs> fruits of all this yes work that went into my youth i should say uh-huh. so what, it was a very is, pleasurable experience yes yes I'm sure it is what are some of the best experiences you have had you know ever since you started in terms of ex students or in terms of the teachers that come in what are some of the memories that shine brightest see a lot of uh, memories of the students are there because what they did in their lives was the uh, best gift to me like we have students who are excelling in all sectors like maybe fashion sports singing dancing academics we have students who are excelling in all fields and uh, i feel very proud when they come and meet me and say ki ma'am we are so lucky that we studied in your school because if we hadn't studied here we wouldn't have known ki we were capable of doing so much yes. so that is the best gift to me mm-hmm. and also the teachers the teachers also they are so dedicated we can't work alone it is necessary to build a team to get their cooperation and it is good to work together of course there are always whenever people are working together there are always conflicts but then my teachers have also been with me since 20 years 25 years and they're all happy 
so that also gives me a lot of boost that yes that means i always tell the teachers you have to be happy then only you can teach well you have to love teaching that is the most important thing even if your uh, training is a little less it doesn't matter but that passion for teaching and concern for students forgetting yourself and keeping the students above everything else that is the most important thing for a teacher i've seen i think i think a lot of teachers would benefit from hearing what you just said ma'am uh, that's really brilliant you know in your own memory you know you've been to school too so talk to us about some of those experiences which have helped you to become the person you are today <laughs> uh i think it was exposure to um a lot of different uh i should say exposure to a lot of different activities in my school also there were so many different activities and the, that time the uh, syllabus was not so stressful mm -hmm. we really enjoyed learning we never needed to uh, stay late we never needed to get up early it mm. was fun being with friends mm. i think school was just friends and functions that mm. is what we remember of school now we don't remember all the grammar and maths and all that was taught to us but we do remember our friends and what we did in those functions how we played so much of mischief we used to go out at the pretext of the going out to the washroom and then staying back to break the tamarinds from the tamarind tree mm. and then <laughs> coming back so all those experiences and uh, like doing something which is not uh, like uh, bad but a lot of mischief so that is a very important part of school i feel yes to be with friends and to enjoy the relationship with your friends take guidance from your teachers the teachers are like parents in school and sometimes the teachers become so close to you that they inspire your whole life Absolutely. like there have been so many teachers in school which i am so thankful for who have inspired me and made me what i am so ma'am uh, because we are doing this on the occasion of teachers day uh, we would love to hear from you about your teachers and you know what makes you remember them even now see i remember we had an english teacher and um, i was studying in a convent school and uh, then she decided to become a nun and when she left us we cried so much because mm. we really loved that teacher and there were all types of stories about her he she had made a promise to god her brother was going to die so she said let my brother live mm. and you uh, i will become a nun mm. if you let my brother live mm. so these stories are so old but still they have made an impression in my mind and uh, i still am in touch with my uh, friends mm. of that uh, age and still we share all those memories mm. so mm. memories about teachers about friends about the mischief that we did together and still when we remember it it's really fun mm. i think the best part of your life is schooling yes <laughs> that's that's absolutely true <laughs> uh, so ma'am you know you have such rich experience in dealing with both students and teachers uh, what do you think are some of the challenges that teachers are facing today as compared to earlier times earlier times i think life was easier there were not so much expectations from the parent side or from the students see now we have google so students are more knowledgeable than teachers so that is a big hurdle i feel yes so the teachers have to be ready to let the students know 
when they ask questions ki yes i will find out and let you know or we'll look it up on google just now see the students must not lose respect for the teachers before the teachers were like gods mm-hmm. whatever they said nobody questioned it but now first thing that the student does the parents do that even if the teacher makes a small mistake then the parents come up and correct the teacher so how will that uh, arri- make the students respect the teacher yes. so this is a very yes. important challenge that i think teachers face today ki parents don't teach the te- uh, students teach the children to respect the teacher they make fun of the teacher and uh, then uh, they are more like for every little thing they come to school they protect the children so much that they don't grow emotionally while if the children in our times the students were left we were left to our own oh, yes. our parents <laughs> yes. our parents never came and complained to the teachers about any small thing why did you pinch my child why did you throw the book at the child hmm. see a teacher is also a human so sometimes she may lose her temper if a child is misbehaving a lot mm-hmm. and she might just give the uh, student a little tap and all so it is not magnified the basic thing is that the teacher must be concerned with the students that the student should get that much of confidence mm-hmm. ki my teacher will not leave me till i understand this that is the confidence that a student must have about his teacher and he shouldn't be afraid of asking his doubts he should have a good relationship with the teacher a very healthy relationship with the teacher where he is ready to ask all his doubts without any shame or hesitation so the teacher is a very difficult role being a teacher it's not easy it's a very difficult time what were some of the major challenges that you have faced because in terms of you know the kind of vision you had for your school uh, did you have to train your teachers and what are some of the innovative practices that you have adopted in your school see i feel the best thing about my school is we give a lot of freedom there is a lot of freedom for teachers as well as students for teachers to do their best the baseline is the student should learn and the student should be happy these two things and for students also i want the students to recognize what they are interested in in school so that they can follow it later on even if it is as a hobby hmm. because the basic thing is that what parents expect is my child should be able to stand on his own feet so that is the aim of schooling that every person who comes out should be able to earn a decent livelihood mm-hmm. so we cannot cancel that but then also he has to be a non frustrated human being and for that he needs to have some hobbies some things that give him so much of joy that he can handle the stresses of life mm-hmm. so art and all this music dance all this helps children to grow and to be happy yes uh, so ma'am you know uh, from your student life what kind of a student were you and uh, you know how was your equation with your teachers in particular talk to us about that see uh, when i think back we were also just like normal students teachers who couldn't control us we took advantage of them mm-hmm. teachers who were very strict we were quiet with them mm-hmm. and then there were the perfect teachers mm-hmm. whom we respected mm-hmm. and with whom we really learned a lot who were strict who knew their subject and we had confidence ki yes and it didn't matter like uh, what the how they behaved how they dressed or anything but the respect that we had for some teachers that was enough it was not necessary that all the teachers were the same but those teachers who really impacted us they were a turning point in their lives 
and i think even now every student in his throughout his whole student life comes across some teachers who inspire them and who make them feel ki yes they can do things they are good and they give them confidence to face life absolutely yes uh so ma'am is there a particular student who came and gave you feedback uh, that made you feel wonderful about what the work you are doing you know students often do come back and especially on teachers day they come back and um, give feedback and remember things that the teachers have taught them so if you have some such memories you would like to share with us yes like many students have come and they many students we forget their faces also but they come and tell us ma'am we were with this batch and you told us this so once a teacher the economics teacher was absent mm. and uh, i was taking the substitute class mm. in the beginning mm. for economics and i told him that money saved is money earned mm. so he's opened a dhaba in nagpur mm. and i just uh, he invited me to his dhaba Mm -hmm. so he told me ki ma'am i still remember that you told me that money saved is money earned so i felt so happy that he remembers it i don't i didn't remember that i told him that huh. because i was there with him only for one substitute period yes but it was a real thing in my life that he remembered what i told him and that made him that changed his life yes wonderful see that's the impact teachers can have ma'am and while i was at your school today we also saw something very innovative that you are doing and a very new kind of schooling system that you are trying to bring to the city please talk to us about that see this is waldorf education and uh, it is the first waldorf school of nagpur it is a very different type of uh, education where students are not given any instructions there are no textbooks mm. and it is age appropriate learning mm. as the student grows emotionally the teachers also handle him in that way and he is not forced to do anything but that doesn't mean he is allowed to beat other children there is indiscipline mm. the students are kept they are so busy doing things see waldorf doesn't believe that there is attention deficit children they believe we are not giving them the right activities to do see if you let a child play in the sand mm. there is no attention deficiency in that child he plays for hours in the sand and uh, the children get absorbed in play and we try in the normal system of education we try to pull them away from play and make them study which is something unnatural see children are natural learners human beings are natural learners they see whatever is all around them they learn what their parents tell them whatever their environment they learn on their own we don't need to teach them like a mobile also we don't need to teach children mobile they learn to handle a mobile better than us True. so how do they do it they learn it through play so play is a very important medium of instruction which is a very important part of world of education it is structured play the whole uh, like how the nature is in a rhythm so that same rhythm is transferred to the children you don't need to force a child to leave one activity and go they will guide the parents also you don't need to force the child to brush his teeth you brush your teeth along with the child and naturally he will start brushing his teeth mm. so you don't need to force a child to do anything but if you don't brush your teeth and if you are watching tv the child will also watch tv and he will not brush his teeth mm -hmm. if you are not keeping your shoes properly mm. he will not keep his shoes properly and we have to be constant one day we tell him be a good boy i'll give you a sweet and the next day you say sweets are not good for health mm. so there should be no confusion in a parents instructions so waldorf takes care of all these things it is very simple parenting mm. you don't need expensive toys mm. 
lot of education is through stories and imagination is encouraged a lot every child can imagine the story the outcome of the value of the story in his own way we don't expect every child to have the same mind the same imagination so and very close to nature see they see the whole process of sowing the seed the growing of the vegetable and then eating it hmm so <laughs> Yes. they know that the whole process hmm. and uh, there are no artificial toys there is no tv there is no mobile so there is lot of time for activity and learning naturally hmm. and i think i could go on and on about world of education <laughs> and i think yes. i wish i had known all these things when my children were small <laughs> yes but now that's it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably the thought a lot of parents will have when they come to know what this world of system is all about um so yeah. ma'am uh, before we conclude is there something you would like to say to the teachers who are listening in um i want to give this message to the teachers ki they must realize ki they are a very important part of society because teachers today are, uh, are looked down upon nobody want very few people want to be teachers yes but if any if the world can read and write it is only because of the teachers absolutely so you should be very proud of yourself that i am a teacher and just give your 100% to teaching if you join the teaching profession just give your 100% and don't bother about any other things just see that the child you're giving your best to the child and you're doing your best that is it so thank you so much ma'am for being here on ek sambad at aruni mankuran and sharing your thoughts it was a privilege to talk to you and uh, on behalf of the student community and parents you know for whom you are doing such great work thank you so much and uh, best wishes on your mission ahead thank you ma'am Thank you thank you so much